Friends, as you know, the ratio we use in CT of the same ratio we have to use M meter also. Like ratio of this CT here is 300 by 1. So ratio of the M meter we will use must also be of 1 by 300. That is ratio we use for CT of the same ratio we have to use M meter also. But here you can see CT we have is of 300 by 1 and M meter is of 1 by 150. So how to connect this M meter with this CT understand this. Here ratio of CT which is written what is this? Look here 300 by 1 is written it means in this wire 300 ampere current will flow then two wires in output here S1 and S2 in these two wires 1 ampere current will flow. It means it is converting 300 ampere into 1 ampere. Now these two wires here what we will do is we connect these two wires with the two terminals of M meter at the back side. So what happen is from these two wires 1 ampere current flows. Now what M meter will do is it will convert this 1 ampere into 150 ampere or it will convert into 300 ampere. As per the ratio of the M meter it will change the ratio. So what we need to do is as per the CT only we have to select the M meter. The wire or cable we use if we want to measure current in this then what we do is we pass the wire inside of CT. From inside we pass the wire then what happen is this wire will work as primary winding and CT will work as secondary winding. Let us suppose right now in this wire 300 ampere current is flowing. So in secondary terminals 1 ampere current will flow. Look here what we have to do now we have to change the ratio of this CT. What we will do here is the wire or cable we are passing we will take from here and around this CT wrap this wire once in this way. You can see here this wire is going from here. Wrap around the CT and from inside only this wire is going out. It means there is only one turn. What happened now is ratio will be reduced. Ratio of our CT was 300 by 1. Now ratio becomes 150 by 1. We made one turn of wire around the CT, ratio becomes 150 by 1. Now we want to reduce the ratio more. Then how we will do it? We have to make two turns of wire around the CT. You can see wire which is passing, we made two turns of this wire around the CT. When we made single turn, the ratio we got was 150 by 1. Now one more turn is added, now ratio of this will become again half of this. That is it becomes 75 by 1. Now suppose we have to again reduce the ratio. Then what we will do add one more turn around the CT. The ratio will become again half of this 75 by 1. That is it will become 37.5 by 1. So friends in this way we change the ratio of CT. Now if we connect both these wires with the M meter then ratio of M meter must be 1 by 37.5. Similarly, if there is only single turn, the ratio of your emitter must be 1 by 150. And if you take two turns here, then ratio of your emitter must be 1 by 75. Now suppose ratio of our CT is 300 by 5. Now what happen is, if we make one turn of wire, then ratio of CT will become 150 by 5. Friends, note one thing here, when ratio changes, then only ratio of this side changes. That is, ratio of only primary winding changes because we are modifying only primary winding. So our ratio of CT is reducing here. Here ratio of secondary winding is not changing. Ratio of secondary winding will remain same. Now if we make one more turn here, then what will happen? Ratio will again reduce that is 75 by 5. Friends, I have a question for you. You have to tell me the answer by commenting in the comment box. Question is CT you have, ratio of that CT is 500 by 5. And what you did is you took the wire and from inside you made two turns of wire around the CT. What you have to tell me is the CT you have how much ratio is reduced here. Friends if you want to know what is the meaning of 5P10 and 5P20 in CT then click on the right hand side video to watch. Friends if you like this video then please give like on this video and please do share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching this video.